July 24, 1943. Hamburg's night sky glows on radar scopes as Würzburg sets wait for the incoming stream. Then the screens bloom with false targets. Window, thin aluminium strips devised in Britain, has just been used in combat for the first time during Operation Gomorrah, and Germany's radar picture collapses into snow. RAF and USF raids continue for eight days. Casualty estimates for Hamburg now center around 37,000 dead, range of 34,000, 40,000, with vast destruction across the city. From this night the electromagnetic war intensifies. German air defenses scramble for countermeasures, while Allied scientists expand jamming and chaff tactics that seriously degraded Würzburg-directed fire and night fighter control. Crucially, intact German night fighter radars reached Britain, first via a JU-88R1 that defected to RAF DICE in May 1943, and later when a GU-88G1 landed by mistake at RAF Woodbridge in July 1944, accelerating Allied counter-radar and jamming work. Among those behind window was physicist Joan Curran, whose work helped save bomber crews by blinding and confusing German radars.